Well, it's a nice 48 degree morning. It's uh, 70 degrees in the greenhouse. If you could see that with a nice 70 degree or 70% humidity. Um, yeah, you can see all the water on here, but got a few nice projects. Uh, small little things to get ready for the winter time. And get the garden going so that way I don't have to do as much building and work over the, uh, in the springtime. I can just come out and start planting, but few of the things on the project list is uh, I've got these shelves here. These shelves will um, have uh, lettuce beds on them and will uh, um, we'll, you know, grow quite a bit of lettuce, maybe some carrots and maybe some cabbage, not sure. Um, but one of the main projects I worked on last night was uh, a thermostat controlled 100% um, solar powered um, air exchange unit. Uh, so what it consists of are 320 millimeter fans. I got them on Amazon. You can get four of them for I think it's like $14. Um, and so I'm using three here. I installed a uh, just a regular switch. Now I'll, I'll give you a link to, uh, to all this stuff here but um, you know I, I don't know why I didn't do this but um, when I would search on Amazon for uh, for toggle switches um, I would always search DC toggle switches and for some reason see I like these metal toggle switches I really do um, and when you buy something that's labeled DC toggle switch it, on Amazon you're gonna pay like six dollars for one of these things unless you get them from straight from China these are two dollars and I think like 43 cents um, a piece and you know like I said I like these top these style toggle switches they're not odd shaped um, you can just get a regular size drill bit cut a nice hole um, the rocker switches, the the shapes are a little off. Uh, sometimes they don't fit tightly and everything. So I, I grabbed a few extra of them. Um, one for this, and I'm going to replace the rocker switches downstairs or with my um, with these metal ones down in the solar the solar panel system. So, anyways, what you see right there is that is a, a 12 volt DC thermostat with a waterproof sensor. Now. Uh, the downfall the only downfall of this thing was <clears throat> it comes in it only reads in celsius which is okay um i prefer i'd actually prefer celsius for this because um you know you, there's a little bit more of a degree of accuracy with the celsius than with fahrenheit but uh, what i'll do is i'll just write fahrenheit to celsius um there's an equation i can't remember what the equation is <clears throat> off the top of my head which is bad because i'm a nurse and i do the equation a lot but um, I'm just going to write the equation here so that way I can just adjust it. But um, this will be set to turn on at um, 85 degrees. Um, and then that, it's just a typical switch. So I've got this line that will run to a battery. I've got the bridge here with the positive. And then this running down here to um, these uh, wire nut hubs. Running to a switch. Um, I was debating whether or not to put a switch in or not, but, you know, why not? I'm already doing all the wiring. So I put in the switch, have the fans, move a lot of good air. Now, I don't feel like buying a charge controller. Um, Harbor Freight charge controllers are like 20 bucks. Um, so what I ended up doing was I got a, uh, a um, DC buck converter and the so I can adjust the, the voltage. I can adjust it all the way from 1.5 volts all the way up to 45 volts. Um, and with this buck converter, you know, it'll, it, you know, it'll do a good job charging battery and I can actually run this output here to, uh, another set of, uh, wire hubs and I can charge my phone or charge my speakers out here while I'm working or so on and so forth, put in lights, anything. But anyways, um, so I have this, this is only a few bucks. Um, it's cheaper than a charge controller and you know, the solar panel I'm using, it's, uh, not really a trickle charger, but it's only one and a half watt um, and you know, it's <laughs> the, the the amount of power it'll charge the, the batteries and everything, but it's not really going to cause enough to, to burn up my battery. Um, so DC volt uh, or DC um, Oh shoot thermostat 
buck converter. Um, we're gonna go ahead and mount this and then uh, you know mount the battery somewhere. So stay tuned. All right, well, we got it installed. Um, here's the battery. Just got a little old bread pan that I got from a garage sale or I think a garage sale. Anyways, um, mounted my thermometer up here with the thermostat right by here, so I know that uh, they're pretty close and. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's uh, not too far off. Um, I uh, I this I can change this to Celsius if I need to. But uh, what I'm gonna do is this is on, and you're gonna feel or you're gonna see the thermostat switch on. A little light turned on, and those open up. And what I have is I have a flap here. Um, it's not really res. Uh, causing too much resistance the airflow is still pretty good at coming out of here but anyways um, that way when it turns off the uh, or when it rains water won't dip in here so but I have the solar panel mounted out here um, it's mounted flat it's not mounted at an angle I need to mount it at an angle but I don't have anything right now to mount it at an angle but anyways um, the fans are on Batteries going, um, and this works well. I have to, can't really see the temperature very well. You have to really cup it, but it's uh, 32 degrees, 32.5. That was just from the heat of my hand, so it'll start cooling down here in a minute. Um, but there's a possibility where I might need to put a bigger panel um, running on this. Um, not sure on how long those fans will last or how long those fans will blow for on this battery so but anyways now it's all hooked up I just need to run the solar panel um, cord through here and I'll probably chop it down so it doesn't have as much uh, um, it doesn't have as much um, length to go and that's all finished <laughs> 